How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring you along with me to test out my Rode Video Micro microphone versus a cheap microphone that I had gotten when I first started and see how much of a difference there really is. So let's jump right into it. So when I first started doing videos, I had my Sony a6000 and sadly there was literally no input jack for a microphone so I went in about kind of not using a microphone whatsoever I got this cheap microphone given to me and I could never use it so whenever I upgraded to my Sony a7 III I started using the cheap microphone at first to see how it would sound and I wasn't really sure about the settings to use and everything like that, but now I've obviously dived in a little bit more to get a little bit more understanding. Still got a long ways to go, but I'm learning every day a little bit more, so I want to pass down this knowledge down to you. So I'm going to be testing it out how the Video Micro from Rode compares to this cheap, cheap microphone that I got that you literally have to put a AAA battery in to be able to turn it on. The really cool thing about the Video Micro from Rode is that you don't need a battery as long as you connect it into your headphone jack, it starts recording. So I wanna see if there's a really big difference in the sound department to see if it would be such a good microphone to have versus a cheap microphone that you could probably get for less than like $20. I don't really remember how much this cheap microphone was because I think it came with like a package when I first bought like a couple camera kind of thing. So I'm just going to assume that it was very, very cheap. I mean, the way that it's set up, it has for the AAA battery versus the Rode Micro. It does not. So I want to compare a little bit to both and see which one sounds better. So the Rode Video Micro comes in at $60 American, which in reality is not that expensive for when it comes to a microphone. So I think it's a really great microphone, hence why I got it. The cheaper alternative, we're just gonna assume it was under $20 because it is very cheaply made and you're gonna see why. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the comparison of both microphones so you can see what this looks like next to each other and see the aesthetic of each microphone for you to see. As you see, the Video Micro is a lot better built in my opinion it just looks more professional it looks sleeker it just looks better overall the cheaper alternative just looks very cheap i mean the plastic looks very cheap everything and anything on that looks just cheap so like i said it's a good comparison to kind of see that i'm hoping obviously that the video micro is going to sound a lot better or is it going to sound the same or are you not going to be able to tell the difference obviously i'm going to be editing the the way that I would normally edit my sound to go from both microphones. I'm currently actually set up with having my A7R3 with the microphone with a cheaper one over here and my Sony A7 III with the video micro from Rode over here. So I'm going to be going back and forth so that you can see how it sounds. I'm recording at the same time so I can just let you know when I'm using the different sound from the other camera to basically show you the difference. So I'm going to do a bit of a test and go blindly and see if you can tell. So here we go. Here is the first microphone. This is me just talking. Thank you so much for watching this video guys so far. So if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel yet, do it now. This is with a second microphone. Like, like I said guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, go like this video and subscribe. Could you tell a difference on the microphone? I'm gonna do now a comparison where I tell you which microphone I was using, so here it goes. So this is with the video micro. How does it sound to you guys? This is just basically me talking, saying just a lot of random things. And this is with a cheaper alternative. Same thing, just talking, same distance from where I was, haven't moved obviously, so. How does it sound? Do you like the video micro better or the cheaper alternative better or can you not even tell a difference? Was your guess correct? Do you notice a difference? I'm very curious to see. Obviously right now I haven't heard the difference just yet. In a bit, I'm gonna be transferring this footage into my computer and then going off of what I 
normally do for editing and see what I can compare to tell you my final thoughts at the end. But for now, we're gonna keep doing a couple more tests and then see what else we can do to see how much of a different dynamic these two microphones can have. So, not many of you know, but maybe you do know whoever's watching i play music i used to be in a touring band called the rise of the broken still play obviously not so much now because of current times but i'm just gonna play a couple chords and just kind of see if it sounds better on the road micro or the cheaper alternative so we're gonna do a blind test first and then we'll kind of break it down by microphone to see which one is right So there you go. Can you tell the difference of which microphone is which? Is your guess correct? Is it the first one or the second one? So now we're gonna do it where I'm gonna tell you exactly which microphone I'm using so that you can kinda just maybe prepare your mind for it. Who knows? We'll test it out real quick. So this is with a cheaper alternative. And now this is with the video micro from Rode. Let's see how it sounds. So did you notice a big difference in the sounds? Which one sounded better to you? Let me know in the comments down below. I would always love to, you know, hear your input on these videos and see what you think about what we're covering today. So let me know down below if you like the video micro better than the cheaper alternative, or you can't even tell a difference. I won't know just yet, but I will soon enough. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and play a little bit of music and sing a little bit, just to kinda put it in a little bit more harsher test, if you will, because most of the time people will use these microphones more for talking, but you never know. If you're wanting to kinda capture some footage of people playing music live or anything like that, this might be a good test for you guys because I know that I would love to know this since I do play music and if I want to capture some live videos and stuff like that would make sense for me. So here we go. So now with the singing and everything playing there, were you able to tell the difference? Was it too obvious? That's something that obviously for me as a musician and just getting more into video and photography is do I want my quality obviously to be with the same price point? Because sometimes you can get some stuff for cheaper and have the same impact of quality. It just depends on trial and error. So that's why I like to kind of compare these little things for you guys so that it might help you out. I already had this cheaper microphone lying around. So I wanted to kind of go, is it really that much of a difference to invest in a better microphone? So far, obviously, the main giveaway for why I would choose still the Video Micro Rode is because, well, you don't have to have a battery to power up your microphone. That's one very, very huge advantage, obviously. But, I mean, I have rechargeable AAA batteries, so it's not the end of the world if you need to use some batteries to keep your microphone going. Especially if you're tight on the budget and you already have these batteries lying around, well, might as well put them to good use. So those were a couple tests that I just wanted to have. I mean, that's just what I would normally do for my setup. So we're gonna do as well a little bit of vlogging slash walking with the cameras to see how it would sound more in the open world, if you will, outside, just to test out if it's very much different whenever you're walking does it make noise whenever you walk sometimes the camera uh, the microphone can kind of move and everything so let's check out to see what it sounds like vlogging style and now we have the cheaper microphone going on can you tell a difference i mean right now i'm just using how it normally would when i'm vlogging just a little quick test nothing crazy i mean i can kind of walk a little bit so you kind of see a little bit how it would sound while i'm walking and vlogging and here we have the video micro 
road microphone kind of going on and about i'm just walking around here in my backyard just to see how it'd be while i'm vlogging you know kind of testing it out in more real life scenario um yeah what do you think about the sound on this one this is my go-to anyway so this is if you've ever watched my videos before it'll sound familiar because this is what i use on the daily but anyways we're gonna go and head back inside to check out how this sounds on my computer and then i can let you know my final thoughts so stay tuned because here come my final thoughts and we're back in my office so i'm just going to kind of go ahead and tell you what i think of both microphones and tell you my final thoughts obviously the video micro by rode to me is going to be the better value because at 60 dollars without having to use any extra batteries is going to be a great thing so with that being said, it just makes it a lot easier to not have to worry about the battery dying and just as long as you're connected to your camera, you're going to create some audio. With a cheaper microphone, you have to use that extra battery and you have to also turn it on and off for whenever you're using it so the battery either is being used or not used so that you don't drain the battery and then you don't have a microphone when you're doing your videos. So that's the most obvious one. But if you want to get a little bit technical about the difference in sounds from what I could tell is the cheaper microphone would kind of sometimes get a little bit of a hissing and like kind of like that sound where it's just like mm, kind of like in the background and I've noticed that before when I used to use it when I first started I was like oh man like this interrupted the sound this made it kind of crappy which sadly it is a cheaper microphone my assumption of why it does that is because of this watch so it has like a little bit of a moving thing here, which you would think it'd be great, but I feel like that's one of the reasons why it does a little bit of a sound because the little bit of shaking, it kind of triggers something in it that maybe like short circuits it a little bit to make it a little bit sound kind of off. I'm assuming that's the reason. And the video micro, I didn't experience that before. I mean, I've had some issues, but I think it was more just because of the conditions that we were in, a little bit more windy or something like that. Nothing too crazy with just the input itself. Another thing that I noticed as well is that with the cheaper microphone, it sounded more muffled. And I honestly put it all through the same, the same settings and everything in between. So. I've used my video micro on my A7R3 and my A7 III and it sounds exactly the same. So that's why I wanted to compare them like side by side at the same time with the video footage of the A7R3 being put it with a cheaper microphone. So my guess is that just the quality of the microphone picking up all the sound, it's a little bit more muffled, especially with like the little kind of um, dead cat on it. So I'm assuming that's one of the reasons as well, but I know if you take it off, it's gonna pick up everything in between. So um, overall, in the crispness of sound, I think the video micro does a little bit better. So, I mean, obviously this is just more for kind of seeing how well those cheaper microphones can do. Um, a lot of the times when you buy a bundle from like Adorama or eBay or Amazon or any of those companies, sometimes they do those bundles where they give you like cheap things that come with your camera. So sometimes you kind of go for that because it gives you a microphone or it gives you a tripod and sometimes the quality can be okay enough for you not to have to invest in anything further. So that was the point of this test, just to see if it already comes with the package that you're buying, should you just keep it or should you invest? So hopefully I will help you out with your decision when you're buying your camera gear and seeing what you want to get for the cost. But with all that said and done guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video with a friend, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.